हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज एल राज सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव बीन आस्किंग ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम लाइक हाउ डू आई एडिट माय फोटोज इफ यू हैव एंड चेक माय इंस्टाग्राम प्लीज डू गो एंड चेक आउट द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक दिस फोटो एडिटिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड दिस विल बी माई फर्स्ट एवर फोटो एडिटिंग ट्यूटोरियल so most of the time i edit my photos on the go on my smartphone in this app called adobe lightroom cc for smartphones you can download this app for free on the play store the link is already in the description and so without getting much delayed let's get started so as you can see this is a normal picture which has been taken on my smartphone in a complete auto mode so once i finish the editing it will look something like this without delaying much come on let's get started so to start with this is the adobe lightroom mobile layout in the landscape mode so i'm going to expand the tray and go to the lighting column and start expose adjusting the exposure to somewhere plus 25 and contrast i want it to be a little more darker in terms of contrast so i'll adjust it to again 24 and highlights has to be totally down if you want to push up the clouds and the background so i'm going to totally bring it down to not 100 not minus 100 so minus 97 and shadows has to be increased if you want to see something which is inside the darkness or inside the shadows so I just bumped up the shadows to 86 and again I want to reduce the white to minus 36 and blacks to minus 50 and now I'm going to the temperature section and the color adjustment section where I'm going to increase the temperature to somewhere around 10 maybe yes 10 and next I'm going to come to this mixing color mixing place where i am going to just turn out the blue to somewhere kind of light blue and going to decrease the luminance to minus 5 and increase the saturation to plus 5 and again i'm going to the other blue and reducing the hue to minus 5 and increasing the saturation to plus 5 and again in, again reducing the luminance to minus 5 so i'll not touch any other colors this is done and now go to the scholum and i'm going to just bump up the dehaze you're going to see magic now dehaze will be somewhere around 80 yes now you can see the enriched hdr version of this photo where all the shadows highlights and temperature is going to be punched and the clarity is something like if you come down totally minus it's the image is going to be so soft and if you go up to 100 it's going to be so sharp so i want my photos to be somewhat a little bit smooth so i'm going to bring it to minus 5 and vignette is something like if you want to give out a bright uh, round corners or a dark round corners so i want a little bit darker so minus 5 and feather it to almost 75 so that it's not visible that much and next main thing is that once you increase too much of dehaze there is you can see a little bit of noise in the image so you can reduce the noise by going to this column and reduce increase the noise reduction level to plus 20 and further come down and increase the color noise reduction to somewhere around minus 25 so this reduces the noise of the colors and 
increase the smoothness to somewhere around 62 and I feel like the image is looking a little bit darker so I went back to the lighting section and increasing the black again from 50 to somewhere around 60 63 61 maybe correct so that is it you can just see the image now so brilliant I'll show you how it looks before and after so now it's once you edited this photo it's very easy to replicate it to the other photos just go to the menu section and create a preset preset of this editing what you're done i'm going to name it as nature blue done done and you can see the preset in the presets column i'm going to use that preset on this image so i came down to the preset column in this there are so many inbuilt presets i am not bothered about it go further down to the user presets where your saved preset will be visible and select that nature blue dakar so you can see the change of this image i'll show you the previous and after before and after before and after isn't it awesome yes and let us try this preset to some other images as well oh for this one where the front end is very dark and the back end is very bright again so we are going to again use this preset here let us see how it looks presets user presets and nature blue select wow this is it it just so easy to edit all of the photos once you have saved the preset so that's it we'll apply this preset for this image where it's wide and the front end is also not that dark and the back end is also not that bright it's average let us see how this preset works out here so going to presets again user presets and nature blue wow it has done an amazing job before and after before and after superb right so it is really very easy to edit the photos here on this mobile app adobe lightroom it gives you all the amazing features that's it guys i hope you like my tutorial please do hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel i'm going to do a lot more of this kind of photography tutorials photo editing tutorials and filmmaking tutorials so till then stay tuned bye bye